Meet Carl Caskets. Carl has a crippling addiction to completing clue scrolls and searching for RuneScape's most valuable treasures. So much so, that he only uses clue items and rewards in his daily explorations. He won't trade others because he wants to keep all the loot to himself, and he only has one life to achieve his life goal. Complete every clue step, no matter what the cost, and be rewarded with the greatest treasure any adventurer has ever seen. Oh boy, welcome back. Today is a big day for Carl. I am so freaking excited because we completed the beginner clue tier and it's time to start the easy clue journey. This almost feels like the true beginning of a long adventure building up to one day doing some challenging content like the fight caves, barrows, god wars dungeon with only the clue items and rewards that we've gotten. First things first, I've decided on a couple viable ways for obtaining easy clue scrolls. The first is by killing ham guards. Ham is a cult in RuneScape, which stands for humans against monsters, and without going too deep into the lore, Carl is going to infiltrate their hideout, and he's going to assassinate ham guards, which drop the easy clue scrolls at a rate of 1 in 55, which isn't too bad. The other method is something completely AFK that I'll do while editing videos among other things, and that is... You guessed it, killing sand crabs. Sand crabs have a drop rate of 1 in 128, which isn't great, but I will get a ton of passive combat experience and easy clues while doing other things. So for the ham members, this is gonna be our setup. We look freaking awesome. I'm so glad I got those demon feet. This is so hype. Okay, so I absolutely destroyed that guy. That was not even close. What? Oh, well, I was kind of testing the water's a little bit, but we got our first easy clue scroll. That was that was really fast. That was only the third one we killed. Holy crap. For Carl Caskets, I'm not sure if there's anything easy about completing every easy clue step. If you thought the grind for the vinyl beginner steps was rough, easy clues are going to be even more difficult to complete just based on the sheer volume of different steps. There are 155 easy clue steps, roughly six times the amount the beginners had. If it took 44 hours to complete 79 beginner clues, easies could take over 250 hours and nearly 500 easy clue completions. On the bright side, the only skilling requirement I need is 20 range to wear certain equipment for emote clue steps. There are a couple quests required for easy clue completion that I'm actually really excited for. I'll get to unlock a couple new areas around Gilinor which have a lot of potential in the future. While there is an increase in clue step volume, the easy clue rewards are a massive upgrade from beginner clues as well. There are 131 unique rewards from easy caskets along with 48 other shared rewards of obtainable from easy through master caskets. This gives me about a 22.9% chance to obtain an easy clue unique, which are amazing odds, and something that makes easy caskets so exciting. While I could go on for a while about what I'd like from easy caskets, it's more simple to state that there's just new best in slot equipment for all combat styles. Our first emote step requires three items that we're gonna have to obtain. With 31 emote steps, there's a ton of different items I will need to wear while completing the steps. This creates an interesting puzzle to figure out how I will obtain every item, but most of them are buyable in shops or found on the ground around RuneScape. If there is no way to obtain an item outside of training my skills, I will train to create the item myself. Yawn, and Yuri gives us our first easy casket. Nice. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yahoo! I like it, Kaji. Oh, Let's go, man. We got a double. Okay, the heart is pounding, but I think we're gonna be fine. And we made it all the way through, okay. Whew, all right. And now that I am completely broke, I have 35 law runes. Yo, yes, finally, now we're talking. What is gonna be the first step for easy clue number two? Dig between some ominous stones and Falador. Oh man, ah yes. Step number two, top floor of Drainer Manor. That is nice, that is right by where we are right now. Step number three, Pesca's Helmet Shop in Barbarian Village. Let's see if this is gonna be our first four step clue. It is. So, step number four. Talk to the squire in the White Knight's castle in Falador. Do we get another collection log slot? <laughs> Damn it. We didn't get anything. 
<laughs> no. Yes, 37 magic. I can teleport to Falador finally. Yes, that's so good. Oh, my account's purity. No. No. Carl hit level two thieving. My Freaking clue scroll purity, no. It just took so many attempts to open that door, man. Literally one XP at a time, but I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. We finally got our third easy clue scroll. Bow in the PvP arena, equip an iron chain body, leather chaps, and coif. I have the leather chaps already. I do not have a coif. 38, okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get a coif and an iron chain body. I think I can buy from Varrock, maybe? Yeah, it might be 38 crafting, cause that's my only way of getting a coif at this point. What is my best way of training crafting right now one eternity later the best thing for me to do right now in terms of my supplies which is pretty much no money i'm probably gonna do picking flax until i can maybe buy and resell gem bowstring i'd have to pick 1782 flax man i did not think i was gonna have to do uh, any skilling but here we are so i went to varrock to buy the iron chain body then spent about 10 years walking from varrock to sears village where i'd spend the following 30 years honing my crafting skills the old-fashioned way picking flax and spinning bowstring resulting in a whopping 16 experience per hour 19 crafting nice 24 you know, I I still much prefer this to doing the the pottery method that I did in free to play. This is this is like just relaxing. It's just an easy cycle. Just go pick the flax, make it into bowstring, bank it, and repeat. This is not not too bad. I think I could do this all the way. It's probably take me like an hour, maybe. 31 emerald amulets. Nice. So I can craft an amulet of defense if I need it. I think there's a clue step where I might need an emerald amulet in the future, so that could be good. 34! Oh, I can cut rubies and craft ruby rings. That's pretty cool. It's 36 crafting. I can weave baskets. Wow. Only two more levels to go. We're almost at 38, and then we can complete this singular clue step. Though there are about four to five clue steps that require a coif, so... I guess I would have had to do this eventually regardless. There it finally is, 38 crafting. We can finally craft leather coifs. That is what we've been doing this for the whole freaking time. And three hours of pick and flax and turning it into bowstring later, we finally have the level. We have our leather and now we can make our coifs. We got our coif, iron chain body, leather chaps. That was an unexpected little skilling grind we had to get done there all right i'll be i need to wear it whoops oh my god i forgot i need 20 ranged as well to wear this oh i can't even do the clue step oh no how did i forget you need 20 range to wear the coif dude Okay, change of plan. I need to go buy arrows so I can get 20 ranged. Hopefully, I mean, this might be one of the last skilling grinds. I honestly don't know what skilling grinds are going to be coming up. From what the wiki said, the wiki said I only needed attack, defense, and ranged, but they did not say for Iron Men that I would need 38 crafting to make that coif. 20 range, that did not take long. Now that I'm 20 range, coif, iron chain body, leather chaps. I have spent about four hours on this single clue step between getting the 38 crafting to make the coif and the 20 ranged. Now we can finish the clue step and we get another step. This should only be our second step actually. Bartender, the okay. That's actually our first repeat step. So already a, a repeat step on clue number three. That's a lot sooner than I thought, honestly. It's a casket. Oh man, it's a two step. Seven and a half hours and this is only our third easy casket. 
That is so depressing, man. I guess I'll take the nature runes at least. The nature runes are good. Yo, I actually got a clue scroll from these sand crabs. No way. The clue step. First one of clue number four. Search the boxes in one of the tents in Al Carid. Okay. Step number two. Search the crates in the shed just north of East Ardu. After doing a little research last night on what clue items I'll possibly need, I actually found out that that coif that I had to get 38 crafting for was the only clue item I could have rolled that required me to do any skilling in easy clues. Kind of unlucky that I actually rolled that because it took me about three hours to get the crafting level. That does mean at this point, since I got the 20 ranged I needed to wear the ranged gear, that all skilling has been completed for easy clues at this point. So again, we're put in a situation where really we just have to complete every clue step in the easy tier. The only thing is there's, you know, 155 of them. Really looking forward to getting some good loot, even if I have to do hundreds of easy clues, which I, I'm anticipating I'm gonna have to do, so. Search the boxes next to the chest that needs a crystal key, so I'm gonna have to go to Taverly for that. Oh, this is the one I got earlier. Okay, out of all freaking 31 emote steps, I've gotten the same one twice. What are the odds of that? Man, I'm gonna be so happy when I can actually start building these stash units. It's just... It's just one of those things that's really satisfying to me is having the stash crates, but I gotta wait until we have to train construction. Casket, okay. So easy casket number four. Can we get another collection log? Yeah, black plate body G. Oh my God, that's worth a lot of money. That's actually my best in slot plate body now because I all I had before was the steel plate body, so. Oh, the car looks so cool! Bank value is up to 842k, almost up to our first mil. We've easily doubled our bank value within the first four easy clues. Our bank is just, we're, we're gonna be rich, holy shit. Ignore, the, ignore this 178 gold, okay? Just forget that's there. Just look at this thing, okay? Dude, I know you're not messing with this guy. This is almost our best in slot gear. The only thing that we could really improve upon is we could get a black full helm, we could get a black kite shield, we could get the amulet of power trimmed as well, which would give us a lot of offensive bonuses. With 46 strength and a new max hit of seven, I think I'm gonna switch back to defense just because I'm still kind of getting beat up when I have three crabs on me. Oh shoot, I got an easy clue. Doric north of Falador Pog. That is the same as one of the beginner clue steps. Cecilia. Oh shoot, this is the first Cecilia step. Ah yes, there's a new NPC in town named Cecilia who is like the Charlie or Reldo of easy clue steps. You visit her in Falador Park and play a song for her to complete her clue steps. For easy clues, there are six songs I'll have to play for her to complete all of her steps. Okay, so I'm gonna watch walk up to her, play the song, and she gives me my casket. Wow, that's actually insane. That was a two-step clue. Can we get another collection log? We do not, but we do get some studded chaps. So that's gonna be a nice ranged upgrade. Search for a crate in Varrock Castle. Search the chest in Fred the Farmer's bedroom. Search the drawers in a house in Drainer. Or top floor Drainer Manor. What's in the box? Oh, very nice. We got two collection log slots in one. Armadil rope top and a Sarah page two. Six unique drops from six easy clues. This is going great so far. Three stones in Falador. West of the Champions Guild. It's right, step three. No, it's another two step casket. Two unique steps, both map steps. Willow Compo, okay. It is a collection log, so no matter what, I'm pretty happy about it. We also got a studded body, which is good because that is going to be needed for easy clues. I made a ring of dueling and a games necklace because teleporting is good. Clue scroll number eight. Dance at the Grand Exchange. Equip a pink skirt, pink robe top, and body tiara. These are all new steps, and I see one problem here, which is getting this body tiara. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that. The skirt and the rope top, pretty easy, but I'm definitely gonna have to figure out what I what I can get a, a body talisman from. Yes, pink skirt. I can just go to Falador and kill some of the guards there, and I should be able to get a body talisman fairly easily. Let's just see. A bucket? That is 40 guards killed, and I am kind of low on HP, so I need to fix that before I keep going. 
So, ironically, I was looking at the wiki, and the Falador guards actually drop the body talisman at a better drop rate in free-to-play. They drop it at a rate of 1 in 32. Well, that did not take long at all. As soon as I hopped to the free-to-play world, I killed like three guards and I got it. Welcome back to the Alcarid Mine, the first place I thought of when I thought to mine some silver. Oh. Uh, uh, guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna freaking do it. No one can stop me. I'm pulling the lever and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I'm risking it. Oh my God. No, oh, it's just Delph Bayless. It's fine. If anyone's got to stimulate the economy in this game, it's got to be me. Here I am buying the silver bar because, well, it's just easier than getting 20 smithing, isn't it? Pink robe top for the step. All right, moment of truth. Do I need rune mysteries for this? The answer is absolutely not. But what I've just realized is I have a silver bar and not a tiara. All right, now that I'm done being a dingus, that should create the body tiara I need as well as runes my one rune crafting pure. Kind of upset about that. All right, I'm finally here. I've got everything I need for this clue step. Yeah, boy! Bow at the Legends Guild, another item step. Nice. Iron plate legs, an emerald amulet, and an oak longbow. I definitely have the oak longbow in my bank, so I'll go and grab that. Iron plate legs. I th think I might be able to buy Inverok, and then the emerald amulet I'm gonna have to think about for a second. And wouldn't you know it, we're back in the Varrock West Bank basement getting a gold bar because we are gonna have to craft our own emerald amulet. All I'm gonna need to do is obtain an, an emerald, which I can just buy from a gem shop. We're all good to go. Iron plate legs have been obtained. Uh, the Alcara gem traders should have an emerald and a sapphire in stock, so that's Perfect. Okay, that is the emerald amulet obtained. We have everything we need for the clue step. Now the fun part of just getting to Artie, which my minigame teleport is uh, on cooldown. So we're gonna have to go the old fashioned way and probably just walk there, take a charter or something. We finally made it. Bow in front of the Legends Guild to receive. A third clue step. Wheelbarrow in Remington. Definitely a new step. This just feels like it's gonna be a three step clue. Okay, I was wrong. Jatix found in the middle of Taverly. Here is our eighth casket. My god, what even is this loot? Why the hell do I play this game? It's so fun. You know what? That's a lot of gold. I will definitely take that. If anything, I could just buy more law runes. I could buy whatever I want now. That's pretty awesome. In this video, we more than doubled our bank value thanks to some notable drops, including the Bandos and Arbital Robe Tops and Black Plate Body G, as well as some Purple Sweets. It might not seem like much, but Carl is a happy man, and next time, we continue to crush these easy clue steps, increase the bank value, and work towards unlocking medium clues as soon as possible. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, drop a like, and leave me a comment baiting people into thinking that Carl died in a really ridiculous manner, like desing at Sand Crabs, or, I don't know, accidentally logging into a PvP world and dying. I, I don't really need to tell you guys what to do you're probably more creative than me anyways and i, I kind of just want to know how far people are making it to the video i also need to boost my youtube algorithm i'm really close to a thousand subs so you know just help a guy out while you're at it why don't you just tell me about your favorite tea maybe your favorite snack the perfect temperature to go to the beach your social security number your favorite runescape poll the name of your pet shout out your favorite content i don't know just uh, just do something okay bye